All right, in Boston, the jury has decided. Now, Joe Carzonaya faces death for his role in the Boston Marathon bombings. His only hope lies in a higher court overturning the decision. He has 10 days to file an appeal. Let's bring in our legal guys, Avery Freeman, a civil rights attorney and law professor in Cleveland, and Richard Herman, a New York criminal defense attorney and law professor. Joining us from Las Vegas. All right, good to see both of you. Good to see you, Frank. Right. Okay, so Richard, if I recall correctly, you called this one. You said it would be death. Um, yep. Why, uh, in your view, um, did this jury render this kind of decision? Fred, the evidence was so overwhelming in this case. I mean, it was beyond overwhelming. And when the government continued to play pictures of the bombs going off and people right. getting body limbs ripped out and children dying in front of the jury, it was just too much to overcome. Yep. Couple that with a disingenuous defense, which the jury absolutely rejected. I mean, this guy's dying declaration, his manifesto is basically, and, and you know a dying declaration is an exception to hearsay, that's how strong it is. He's saying it's okay to kill innocent people for the cause. So there was nothing, and the only thing that could have saved him is if he got on the witness stand. He didn't do it because he has no remorse. And it's not a question of the morality of the death penalty. It's the law, it's on the books, and it was put into play here. So, Avery, the only moment I think most people recall him showing, I guess, a more human side of him or, you know, he was tearful was when he saw his mother. But clearly the jurors did not feel that that was remorse for the crime. Well, there was some evidence in this case. Sister Helen Perjan, who people remember as the nun in Dead Man Walking, said that, that she had interviewed Tsarnaev and indicated that he was regretful, he was remorseful. The jury didn't buy that, mm -hmm. Frederica. The fact is that the evidence, and I agree, was so overwhelming. And this was a jury that was death penalty ready. There were instructions at the beginning, could you do this if the facts warrant it? And that's exactly what happened here. Mm -hmm. And I think you're correct also that there will absolutely be an appeal on the question of procedural issues, substantive issues. It's heading to the Court of Appeals, and it's mm -hmm. got still a long way to go. And so, Richard, that's what Fred, makes it so confusing if there's an appeal, because you, who can forget that he scrawled inside the boat that, you know, he was jealous of his right. brother for his, you know, fate, and he thought that he, he wanted to go with him, and so now he's got the death penalty, uh, but then he would appeal? On what grounds? What would be the argument now? Yeah, well, you know, if he's such a badass and committed to his cause there, why doesn't he just waive his appeal and go die and join the virgins and be a martyr? I mean, uh, that's you know, if he it doesn't really work believes that in the way. cause. It doesn't work that he's way. a coward because he's a coward. And to answer your question, Fred, the grounds for appeal in this case, and there are no good grounds here, mm -hmm. but perhaps venue, it should not have been tried right in the heart of mm -hmm. Boston. The jury instruction, there could have been a little better jury instruction on if one juror right. held out, that would defeat the uh, death penalty. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps there's juror mm -hmm. mis misconduct somehow. This was a pretty flash verdict on a, mm -hmm. on a pretty intensive uh, juror, qu juror um, uh, plea there, um, <clears throat> verdict sheet. So to come back that quick, may have been an That's issue. That's an issue, though. And then the the, mm. Yeah, That's it is. And then the ultimate issue is whether a lethal injection is constitutional. And that's it, Fred. He's going to lose right down the road on all four of those. He's going to lose. If he doesn't get taken yeah. out in prison, he's yeah. going to die. He's going to die. And so, Fred. Avery, well, I know you dispute Richard's point of view, but isn't it confusing? I mean, if on one hand there is no remorse, uh, you know, People got what Zero. was coming to them based on his actions, based on what right. he said, and then you're going to turn around and say, you know, death penalty is too severe, it's not the appropriate punishment. Won't that be a tough sell? <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't think it's too severe at all. I actually think it's the appropriate verdict. And a lot of anti-death penalty people say no matter what somebody does, it's inappropriate, it's immoral. Mm. I don't think that's going to be the question and appeal. I mean, there's another case of, of a defendant who was convicted in 2001, Frederick. That's the mm -hmm. Patterson case. That has gone back and forth on appeal. It's going to be retried in September of this year. That's why I say there's a long way to go. Whether the uh, appeal issues are disingenuous whether they're they lack merit really doesn't matter because we're dealing with the ultimate penalty mm -hmm. and that's what goes on appeal here and the, the procedures that attach to it mm -hmm. so that's why i say we've got a long one way other, to go till this is over and it hasn't been filed yet one other thing. is there a gut feeling avery that it wouldn't even be filed and this issue would be moved? No. Yeah, no, you think it's automatic. guarantee it's going mm -hmm. to the court of appeals 100 no, percent guarantee he's, he's got to do it he's a coward 
He's a coward, Fred. He has 10 he may days be to a file coward. a notice he of appeal. He may be a coward. He is a coward. And I don't think that's he's the, a coward. Debate. the debate. He killed is innocent people. He's a terrorist that, that and a coward, issue. and the United States that's doesn't put up issue. with that. Okay. Anyway, Fred, you can, you he has 10 days to file a notice of appeal. Not an right. appeal, issue, just a notice of appeal. We're going to have to leave issue, it right there, the but it's very clear the way both of you see it. And we know that, you know, the whole case has been very polarizing in lots of circles. Absolutely. All the way around. All right, thanks so much, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Avery and Richard. See you soon. Take care. And we'll be right back.